Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here at University Circle, and we're here at the Cleveland Botanical Garden with Cynthia Druckenbrode. Great. Tell us about Nature Connects here. It looks like you've got some really interesting Lego pieces this going is a here. a cool show for families, kids, adults, you name it. And it's all about Lego bricks and Nature Connects by artist Sean Kenny. He's from New York City. He's created these really cool 13 sculptures that are on display all summer long. Right. And you've got them all throughout, inside and outside, and they're all kind of interesting. Some of them are just animals, and some of them are actually showing people interacting, right? Right. We have the grandfather and the granddaughter showing, you know, intergenerational gardening. We have the peacock. We have a tarantula. We have a dragonfly. We have so many animals. Right. Now, these are using literally, I mean, you have to get up close to see this, but there are literally tens of thousands of pieces of actual Lego bricks. They're not bigger size. They're normal Lego bricks. These are normal Lego bricks, and the artist spent literally weeks and weeks creating each piece. And so some of them are made up of over 70,000 Lego bricks. It's impressive. And when you take a picture, sometimes it looks like it's pixelated, but it's not. It's Lego bricks. Right. You also have a lot of like hands-on activities for people to do as well. Yes, every sculpture has an interpretive theme and that will help you explore all these cool ideas about adaptations and ecosystems and migrations. So there are actually hands-on activities like scavenger hunts and things like that. So there's a lot to do. It's not just looking at the sculptures. Right. And Sean Kenny, of course, from New York, but you also have local folks who have put some things together with Legos as well, right? It's a very universal art form. Yes, we have our very own Clevelanders who have submitted their own Lego brick creations, and those are all on display inside the building. And you should see the creativity that some of the Clevelanders have done for us. And right. so they're on display as well as the large sculptures all summer long. Talk about how the kids react to this, because every kid knows what Lego is. They walk in, and they know what to expect, right? It's sort of like they understand this even before the parents do. It's, it's amazing to see them rush up to the sculptures, actually, and they can't believe the size of them. I mean, they're bigger than most small children, yeah. so it's really impressive. And to see the expression on their faces right. is something else. I mean, to see a Lego brick sculpture over 70,000 bricks, unbelievable. Right. This is going to be here, what, through the end of August? That's correct. We're here all summer long, but don't wait. As you know how busy it gets toward the end of the summer when you're going back to school, through August 27th, you'll get to see all these Lego brick sculptures and more. Cynthia, thank you so much for pointing all this out to us. Have fun here with Lego all summer long at the Botanical Garden. You know I will. <laughs> hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.